Remember my trick. You only have to memorize the stories that start with the smallest number. What's the story of one times eight? Mrs. Wonderwand can't help playing tricks on her friends. <laughs> when she comes across Mr. Spooky Eight, she casts a spell and changes him into Spooky Eight Clown. One times eight is eight. What's the story of eight times ten? When Spooky A meets the potion Magi Ten, it makes him very, very hungry. He dives headfirst into the cauldron and comes out feeling very full. He gives an enormous magic burp and blows a bubble in the shape of a zero. <laughs> eight times ten is eighty. Remember my trick. You only have to memorize the stories that start with the smallest number. What's the story of two times eight? When two squeaks is surprised by the wailing of Spooky Eight, the ghost, she gives a little shriek. This wakes up a cat who was sleeping in a dustbin. When she sees the cat, she yells even louder. The ghost has found someone scarier than him. The dustbin and its lid make a one. The cat and its tail make a six. Two times eight is sixteen. What's the story of eight times nine? When Spooky ate the ghost, see Slimy Nine, he rushes to give him a fright. Slimy Nine jumps and bumps into a set of armor in the shape of a seven which loses an arm in the shape of a two. Eight times nine is 72. Frankenstein represents the number three. Frankenstein is a monster who has a tendency to break into a thousand pieces. And Frankenstein. Well done. Now you know Frankenstein. Hello. Together we are going to discover mathematics. Thanks to this memorizing technique, you are going to remember your multiplication tables in record time. All the characters you will meet represent a number. For example, the number four is represented by Vamp 4, the vampire. You will learn your multiplication tables by looking at the really funny cartoons. And finally, there are some quizzes to test what you have learned. You will see, you will make progress as quick as lightning.
Remember my trick. You only have to memorize the stories that start with the smallest number. What's the story of six times eight? When Scorpy Six meets Spooky Eight, he can't help playing a trick on him and lifts up his sheet. Poor Spooky Eight suddenly feels a draft. Feeling very embarrassed, he hides behind a cactus in the shape of a four and makes himself some clothes out of thorns and flowers. Oof, Spooky Eight has regained his shape of an eight. Six times eight is 48. Remember my trick. You only have to memorize the stories that start with the smallest number. What's the story of three times eight? Three consign is cleaning his ears with a crank candle. But Spooky Eight the ghost makes him jump and he hurts himself with the tool. Furious, he throws down the crank handle. It lands on the Spooky Eight's chain and stops him from moving. Spooky Eight pulls as hard as he can to get free. He finally manages to break the chain in the shape of a two, which whisks away the crank handle in the shape of a four. Three times eight is twenty-four. Remember my trick. You only have to memorize the stories that start with the smallest number. What's the story of seven times eight? The mummy round seven wants to catch a beautiful ibis with her net. But Spooky Eight the ghost arrives and frightens both the mummy and the bird. The net lands on the ghost's head and the ibis flies down in the shape of a five. Spooky Eight takes off the net, which is in the shape of a six, and throws it away. The mummy is furious that her hunting expedition has been spoiled. Seven times eight is fifty-six. <laughs> Remember my trick. You only have to memorize the stories that start with the smallest number. What's the story of four times eight? When Vamp Four sees the chain of Spooky Eight the ghost, he can't help trying to bite it. Spooky Eight won't stand for that and tugs hard on his chain. Vamp Four resists and pulls as hard as he can. Until suddenly, the chain breaks. The vampire's teeth in the shape of a three are pulled out by the piece of chain in the shape of a two. Four times eight is thirty-two. <laughs> What's the story of eight times eight? Daddy Spooky Eight and Little Spooky Eight love playing football. Daddy Spooky Eight encourages Little Spooky Eight who kicks his ball and... Whoops! The ball and chain land in the shape of a six, right on Mummy's beautiful vase, which smashes in the shape of a four. Oh, shackles. Eight times eight is sixty-four. Remember my trick. You only have to memorize the stories that start with the smallest number. What's the story of five times eight? And baby flaming five is suddenly frightened by Spooky Eight the ghost. He jumps and gives a little fart. 
The smell makes the ghost feel unwell and attracts the fly. Flaming Fly brings out his fly swatter and, trying to hit the fly, he hits Spooky 8 instead and flattens him like a pancake. <laughs> Baby Flaming Fly throws away his broken fly swatter in the shape of a four and breathes some hot air to bring the poor ghost round. But he breathes so hard, the Spooky 8 gets bigger and bigger and bigger, like a ball in the shape of a zero. Five times eight is forty.